What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you three things. Number one, declaring named constants. Number two, converting string data to numeric data using the triparse method. And number three, converting numeric data to another data type using the convert method. And I'm going to show you these three things using this example here. Uh, we're, I'm creating a program that's going to uh, figure out the area of a circle. So here I have a radius text box. The user is going to input the radius. You, the, then they'll click submit and then the, an, the area of a circle will come out in this label here. And as you can see we have the standard clear and exit buttons. Now in case you don't remember what the area of a circle is, Let's take a look at what the formula is to the area of a circle. Here I went to Google, I typed in area of a circle and it shows me the formula. So in order to get the area of a circle we multiply pi which is 3.14 roughly and we multiply the radius which is from the center of the circle to the edge and we, multi we square that or we multiply it uh, to itself. Okay. So let's take a look at the code that we'll be using. As you can see, I have my comments, the purpose. This program will obtain the radius from the user, calculate, and will output the area of a circle. I have my statements here. Make sure to write those down or type those in. I also have the exit button and the clear button already um, coded. So you go ahead and do that. You already know how to do that. So let's take a look at the submit button, the click event for the submit button. First thing we want to do, I always like to start off with some comments. And I'll put we we'll, we pretty much are always going to start off if uh, as you can see we're always going to start when we do the click event the sub, the button the submit button or enter button or whatever you want to call it we always want to start with declaration statements and this is the opportunity to create variables variable names all right so and with time and practice, you'll be able to figure out how many variables you need. Um, and also, um, there's more than one way to create programs. It's just not one specific way, and you know that's the way it is, and that's it. You know, sometimes you know some programmers will use maybe one extra variable. Someone will use one less. So it just kind of uh, depends. For now, we'll we have to think about first what variables are we going to need well that's kind of simple uh, we could start by looking at our form and we definitely need a variable for the radius so we need the value to be stored somewhere right so that's one we need one for our output okay that's two um, and if we remember our um, formula there's also the, the value for pi so that's three so for sure we're gonna need three variables so let's start let's start typing in some here so we remember that we start with dim D. I'm gonna create a uh, variable called DEC radius okay and I'm gonna type them I'm gonna type them all in here and then I'll explain what I'm doing Okay, I typed in some uh, variables, so let's let me explain a few of them here. So the first one, dim, DEC radius as double. That's going to be 
whatever the user types into the te text box. The next one is const dbl pi as double and we're giving it the value of 3.141593. Now this is a this is a new one here. This is a we're not using dim, we're using const and the reason behind that is because we're creating what's called a named constant. Now uh, a named constant, what that is, is uh, the value stored in a named constant cannot be changed while the application is running. Basically is it's a const constant value, like pi, right? That value does not change. It's always going to be 3.14 or 3.141593. The third one, dim, DEC area as double. This is we're using a numeric data uh, data type to save um, the area uh, of the circle. And then the last one, um, some programmers will probably may not use this, uh, but today I'm going to use it because I want to show you guys something interesting. So the last one is dim str area as string. Just to let you know, whenever uh, a user types in here in the text boxes, whenever they type something in the text boxes, whether it's um, a number or just some text, when you bring it into code the first time when you bring it in, it treats it as a string. Always uh, things get treated as a string as soon as you type them into the text boxes. So our job is to convert them from a string so we can do calculations. So I'm going to show you that in the next step. So I got all my variables ready, so that's good. I'm going to type in a comment. So uh, on this little section, I'm going to convert a string data to numeric data. So what I'm going to try to what I'm going to convert is this one here, uh, DEC radius. So when the user types in a number, I'm going to be able to convert it to a double. Also, just to let you know, as you can see, all my variable names are all have that little squiggly line. Don't worry about that. As soon as we start using them in the code, these little squiggly lines will disappear. So there is no values here, so that's why they're squiggly lines. It doesn't really recognize what they're what they're for or what they're doing. So let's type in my code for converting string data to numeric data. And we're gonna use something called the triparse method. So and I'll explain to you what it is. So basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of in a way um, working backwards here. So let me explain to you what I'm doing here. Okay. So as you can see, um, this is what's called the method, and he. Uh, th this is what's called the method triparse. Now, it's it's. I'm using this method called triparse, and I'm converting the string to a double. Okay. In order to do the triparse method, you're gonna need two things. The first thing you're gonna need is this, and the thing you know some. It'll be separated by a comma. So the first thing it needs is it's the triparse method is asking, okay, so what do you want to uh, what's the string? What's the string uh, that you want to convert? So the string that I want to convert is located in this area, radius text box dot text. As you can see, this is my radius text box, and the property is going to be text. So that's why we're using that. Now the next item it it's asking us for is okay. Now I I want to you know now that now that I have the the string, where where uh, what variable are we going to use to save it at? 
where are we going to save this 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 value the place we're going to save it is in dc radius which is one of our variables there okay so as soon as we start using it in code and notice the squiggly line disappears whenever you're going to be using calculations in your programs you will definitely be using the try parse method so I'm using double here because that's the data type that I'm using for my DC radius variable if I was an integer then I would use integer here okay just want to make that clear so anytime you use it you gotta put the proper data type on there okay next item is the calculation and for the calculation and when it comes to programming here's what I always like to do this always helped me when I was learning programming so I like to think about the formula okay so what's my formula it's area equals um, pi r times r or pi r squared so we'll type in uh, let's start let's start let's let's start with pi so db dbl pi and we're going to use the asterisk symbol to, for multiplication times dec radius multiplication again dec radius so here's my formula right i after I do this, I get the answer, right? Um, as I was saying, we're going to be multiplying pi radius times radius, and we need to save it somewhere. In this case, we'll save it to our variable DEC area. So the way we do that, I always like working like this and then I like to have the DEC area variable on the left hand side. This is the way programming works. So you'll have your uh, calculation here and then it'll save it to the left hand side on the variable there. Okay. And as you can see, I don't have any squiggly lines. I have only one more left. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix that one here. Next item I want to talk about is output. Okay, so here we got our calculation. We got our answer. Our answer is going to be saved here already. <coughs> next thing we want to do is output so currently our answer is saved under DC area so oh, okay so now it's easy right all we gotta do is area label we've been doing this so you know how to do this area label dot text equals DEC area right well that gives us an error why why does this give us an error the reason it gives us an error error is because whenever we want to output onto a la uh, the text property of a label it needs to be in the format of a string you cannot use um, numeric data types so what we need to do is convert it from a string uh, from a numeric data type to a ver to a to a string so how do we do that first of all let's erase this so we are and what I'm gonna be doing and what I'm gonna show you guys is another method called the convert method so we're gonna type convert dot to string and basically whenever we uh, use the convert method we can convert from one data type to another in this case I'm converting um, a number from I'm using I'm converting a variable from a numeric to a string so I use convert dot to string 
I'm going to open parenthesis and it's asking me what uh, pretty much um, it's, it's going to be asking me what do you want to um, you know what do you want to convert what's the give me the give me a, give me the the item that you want to convert so I want to convert that DC DC area okay so it's gonna return it's returning something and it's gonna return the string so I need a, I need a place to save it to so I'm gonna save it to str area okay so notice they're all the squiggly lines are all gone str area is a string so that's why it can go here okay str area so I always like to work from right to left or I like to look at things from right to left so I'm converting dot to string my variable called DEC area and I'm saving it to my string variable called str area so now I can type in str area and there I should have I shouldn't have any problems now I'm gonna save my work let's run it let's see if it works so let's type in three click submit so if I have an, a radius of three the area of a circle will be two twenty eight point two seven four three three seven clear exit so my program works so in conclusion I showed you three things declaring named constants what I have here I showed you how to convert string data to numeric data using the triparse method here's the triparse method and then I also showed you how to convert numeric data to another data type using the convert method now all these three things you can be using them you can use start using them in your programs Thanks a lot. Have a good day. See ya.